Um, when you were young and an intern, you came to Washington and somewhat just by chance got to watch Lyndon Johnson sign the Voting Rights Act. Mm -hmm. The Voting Rights Act about 10 years ago, I think, was renewed unanimously. Now part of the Republican brand is restricting voting rights, everything from voter IDs to whatever. Do you think that's a problem, and do you think there's some things that the Senate should do on voting rights? Well, first, I, I had been an intern in, a, in the office of a senator from Kentucky named John Sherman Cooper in 1964, and he was involved in breaking the filibuster of the Civil Rights Bill of 1964. It was a great thing for a young person uh, to be there and, and to see all In other that. words, he, I mean, I remember, I I remember the, reading this. He supported he Lyndon did. Johnson's voting and helped break a filibuster of right. Southern Democrats as well as a lot of Republicans, right? Richard Russell well, and others. I, I, more Republicans voted for the Civil Rights Bill of 1964 than Democrats. Right. But, yeah, he was among the Republicans who was for it. So I, I came back the next summer to visit my friends and to hope to get to see him, and I just hit it on the day that Johnson was going to be uh, signing the Voting Rights Act. So he, I was waiting in the outer office. He grabbed me by the arm and said, come on, let's go over to the Capitol and see something important. And there I was in the back of the room when Johnson signed the Voting Rights Act, and that was 50 years ago. Or last but do week. you worry that people on the uh, right of your party are pushing too hard to restrict voting rights no, now. Look, I, I, how many of you think it's offensive to have to show a photo ID to get a check cash, if anybody cashes checks anymore, or to get on an, uh, an airplane? But why uh, are let, you let, doing that? Let me finish that? here. The, the notion that photo ID at the polls is some kind of voter suppression idea is nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. And that's not just me saying nonsense. The U.S. Supreme Court upheld Indiana's photo ID at the polls six to three. That meant one of the liberal Supreme Court justices upheld it. So the notion that ballot integrity, ensuring ballot integrity has something to do with voter suppression is ridiculous. The Voting Rights Act is still in place. All the Supreme Court did was strike down a provision that the majority held did not apply 50 years after, which subjects certain parts of our country in the Deep South to procedures that make no sense in today's America. Haley Barber points out there are more African-American elected officials in Mississippi today than any other uh, state in, in America. Tim Scott, African-American Republican, Republican, was elected to the U.S. House by defeating Strom Thurmond's son in the congressional district that includes Fort Sumter. Mm -hmm. And he happens to be an and Aspen now, fellow, he's by He's now way. United States Senator. Okay. Come on. All the court said was the formula that made sense in the, in the 1960s was no longer applicable. The voting, rest of the Voting Rights Act is intact. And this, you know, these suggestions that any effort to ensure the integrity of the ballot is some kind of voter suppression, in my view, is nonsense. Let me make one final point. Sure. It is also not true that there's no voter fraud around the country. I mean, I hear that all the time. In the eastern part of my state, where there are virtually no African Americans, we've got people in jail now. In now as a result of prosecutions for voter fraud. There are certain parts of the country, certain inner city parts of the country, and certain rural parts of the country having nothing to do with race where voter fraud has been a problem. And I think ballot integrity is entirely consistent with the Voting Rights Act. Well, I come from Louisiana, so I don't know much about you voting. Never, never, no fraud. cheating down there. I didn't know that that such a thing ex existed.